Hey guys, Glogmaster26. Uh, I thought I'd make a video on a couple of things that uh, have changed in my range a loadout or my range gear. Um, first of all, uh, I've been wearing these oak glasses for a long time. Uh, I just got this new amber colored lens with the gray frame. Um, basically the exact same thing as I had before. Uh, the old ones were the black with the dark smoke uh, lens which are great. I much prefer this new lens. Uh, it lets you go indoors and I have to take the glasses off. It's more of a uh, yellowish um, more of a yellowish lens. I, I really prefer it for, uh, for daytime shooting. Um, the other thing I, I also got was uh, the ear protector. I've been using the Peltor which are really good. The electronic ears. Uh, these things are really good, very comfortable. Uh, they, they're kind of getting old, kind of getting uh, beat up. So I decided to get a new pair for this summer since I'll be wearing uh, a regular hat instead of a cap to protect myself from the heat and the sun. Uh, I went with these. You're able to wear them. Uh, this goes behind your head, on your, behind your neck, and you're able to wear these um, with, a, with, a baseball, uh, with a hat on uh, so it doesn't have to go over. You know, sometimes it does get kind of uncomfortable. They're also electronic. They're a little less expensive than the ones I had, uh, but they work pretty well. <clears throat> the other change was um, I got some, a couple of new magazines. Uh, the first one is going to be the 33 round uh, Glock 9mm magazine. I know it's kind of outrageous. I mean it's kind of ridiculous, especially when you put it in this little Glock 26. Uh, the way it just sticks out is, by the way it's, everything's been cleared. The way it sticks out is just ridiculous, right? I mean, I can't, get, I can't get, even get it in frame here. Um, normally, I, I carry the 12 round mag. So, you know, compared that to, compare that to this, I mean, damn, that's a big difference. Uh, the other mag, magazine that I got was this 22 round 40 cal for the Glock 22. Uh, this is the 40, 15 round. So compared to that, it's really not a ginormous difference. It still sticks out. Um, I uh, I went ahead and shot uh, used these today at uh, the range. They both worked excellent. My worry was that um, you know going on YouTube, you see all these reviews on stuff, and they let you know that these extended monster mags sometimes have issues. Um, I got a report, guys, that these Glock they are a Glock factory. Um, I was tempted to get the the less expensive aftermarket Korean, I believe, and uh, the Sure. Uh, but I was told not to do it by a lot of people on YouTube. So that's when uh, YouTube becomes invaluable, guys, using it for that. Um, my Glock 22, 40 cal. I got to say, this thing's been running like a champ. Uh, I took it apart and cleaned it after about 750 rounds. This thing has been running great. I went ahead and polished some of the internals. Really nothing major. I didn't want to change the trigger on it. Um, Watching other shows like uh, Doc Tack Dad, uh, I will be changing these sights for those high vis uh, night sight plus that little uh, you know night uh, day glow thing. Um, I'll be doing that soon. I won't make a video of it because there's tons of it, and like I said, Doc Tack Dad has already made one. Um, the 26 can't complain. I mean, this thing has never given me issues. Um, running like a, running like a trooper. Um, other than that, guys, nothing new. Uh, summer's coming. Just preparing for that at the range. Um, been trying to uh, EDC a lot of different knives that I own. Uh, I've always said that I didn't want to be a collector. I wanted to be a user and uh, use the knives that I own and not just keep them in the safe. Uh, so I have gotten rid of a couple of knives, <laughs> made some trades, and gotten knives that I can actually use, you know, sharpen myself, and, uh, and use. Anyway, I'll let you guys know if anything uh, happens uh, with, these, uh, with these Glock mags, but so far, uh, fantastic. I, I ran them twice, uh, both times, no uh, issues, no hiccups. Uh, they fed excel excellent. The one thing I did want to mention is that when running this ginormous mag in the Glock 26, uh, I have seen on YouTube that it's important to 
keep your hand off this bottom part because if you put any kind of pressure on it while shooting it kind of uh, prevents the round from feeding properly so basically I was shooting without uh, without the pinky pressure on the bottom mag anyway alright guys thanks for watching have a good day